Hey, this is Paul Colligan. This is Apps and Tools Thursday. I want to chat about something that is both an app and a tool and a website and something that has been part of my daily existence now for some time and I want to share that with you. Uh, the service, the product, the app, the tool, whatever you want to call it is called Evernote. You can look it up at evernote.com. Uh, the symbol, the, the icon for Evernote is an elephant, uh, the idea of never forgetting. The idea with Evernote is you've got a repository on the web of all the information you can possibly bring together. This could be text information, this could be a voice memo, this could be a website, this could be a PDF, this could be a number of things. And the idea is you send it all to Evernote, Evernote keeps track of it, and then you can sort it in catalogs, in, in notebooks, you can catalog it with tags, whatever you want to do. But what's interesting about Evernote is there is a desktop app for the Windows, the PC, Linux, the whole nine yards. There is a web app that works wonderfully, but there are also apps for all the phones. Um, iPhone has a great one. The one on Android is great. I hear there's one on Windows 7, but I'm not quite sure. Most of the pads, the iPads got a great one, the Android tablets have a great one. And basically you're able to get this information and submit this information at any point. Some of the ways I use it. Now I have Evernote on my phone, I have it on my iPhone, and every time I get a receipt for anything I need to expense or anything I need to make you know, sure I've got a copy of because of tax purposes, I quickly take a picture with my iPhone and I send a copy of that receipt to Evernote and then at the end of the month when it's time to do bookkeeping and whatnot, I just kind of group everything together for the different expenses, for the different places I'm at. I have um, not lost a receipt using this technique since I started doing it. It's absolutely wonderful. But one of the great things about Evernote is it also takes email. I've got a special Evernote email address. So when there's emails I want to file away with testimonials or receipts or logins and passwords and that kind of stuff, I shoot them over to Evernote. And it becomes a really good repository for everything that I'm doing. And it's just a really, really powerful tool. Now Evernote is interesting. They are in the freemium model, which means they're free up to a certain point. And I've read stats that say basically about 95% of the population uses the free Evernote version, and which means you know 95 out of every 100 of you will be at that point. I've gotten to the point to where I pay for it. It's less than, I can't even remember, it's, it's around $50 a year, a very, very affordable, one of the biggest tools I've got, and I cannot recommend it high enough. Again, most people will never need to get to that point, but if you do, it's a pretty sure, secure and solid system for bringing all these things together. This is Paul Colligan, and this has been Apps and Tools Thursday.